Where are we headed to, driver? No man's land. <laughs> oh, okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a damn good show for you tonight. What do you say, Jane? Yeah, we got a damn good show. Let's get her done. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, it is a beautiful day here today, and I have the day off from work, so I'm going to head down and do a little bit of digging. It's quite hot here today. Sun shining. The grass is growing, the birds are out, the trees are blooming, and everything's happening here all at once. <laughs> but there's a bit of a breeze, so... Shouldn't be too bad today. I'll get you back up once I get there. Five minutes later. Okay, I'm down the hole here now, folks. Last time I was here, before I left, I moved all my stray bottles from that area up into here. So what I'm going to do is shovel the hole out and throw the dirt over there where those bottles were. I had a bit of a cave in here, I see. Not too bad, though. There's a bottle here. Let's pull that and see what it is. Okay, it's just a slick amber screw top, a little round one. All right, let me get digging. This thing comes in real handy. This is great for these bigger trees. The little folding one's good for the roots and stuff like that, but this is perfect for these alders. I'm gonna cut a few more of these away and I'll open this up some. Okay, I'm right in the hole here now. I thought I'd turn the flash on on the camera. Be able to see a little better in here. There's a couple bottles I see I'm gonna pull out. Freaking flashes off. There we go. Right there is one, you see it? Right there, the base. It's a corker, not sure what it is. Kind of looks like a peacock chemical company. We'll take it out and wipe it off. Where was that other one? Right here. That's just a screw top. Let's get into here for a minute. Ah, oh, frick. You know what? That's exactly what that is. See, it says peacock there. Nice little corker, though. This is just a big nothing burger. Might take the lid off it, though. So I was just taking a break from shoveling here, folks, and I was looking around inside the hole, checking the wall out, and right here, I got something. I thought it might be a higher marker whiskey bottle, but no, it isn't. It's one of those weird textured bottles. I think it's still a liquor bottle of some sort, but probably a whiskey. They look nice if they clean up good and they're set in a window. They got a nice pattern on them. Luckily, I still had these in my bag. Snip them one at a time. I need those diagonal cutters in a spot like this. Bottle in the hole, folks. Bottle in the hole. This one looks like a liniment bottle. Could be any kind of liniment. They all sort of look the same. <laughs> if I had to bet, I would guess it was a, a miner's liniment. Yeah, it is. And uh, very weak embossing on it. Still a nice corker, though. I usually keep them. Alright, I just pried a bottle out from right down there in the ash layer. It's all rusty. Right there in the middle of the screen. Pull it up and see if it's anything. We'll see if it's embossed. I 
Well, it's got a nasty lip chip for starters, and it's not embossed. Manganese gloss, oh, look at the purple down around the heel there. Wow. Too bad the lip's all busted up on it. All right, we got another one in the hole. Fell out from right up underneath there. Probably see it right there. Looks like a Horlicks malted milk. Yep, that's what it is. Same Wisconsin. And it is, I believe, a machine made one. All right, let's keep digging. So here's that Horlicks malted milk cleaned up, folks, and look how nice that cleaned up. That's impressive for being how dirty and rusty and crusty that was. And I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but you can kind of tell, I guess, it is turning a nice purplish color. A couple of years out in the sun and then it'll really start showing. Horlux malt milk, and this is one of the older ones. I say it's kind of turning, so it's probably pre World War I. The newer ones have like an MM design in the middle here. But there it is, folks. Nice bottle. Well, folks, I see another bottle down in here. Now, I'm not real excited about having to climb down in here, but it's right in here, trapped in there. Ah, uh, it's busted. Looks like a big whiskey bottle right there, folks. No idea if the neck's on it or not, though. Ah. Oh. Piece to an insulator. There's a wire right there that's right in my way. Oh, no, oh, the next bust it right off it. That would have been a nice bottle, too. Oh. Nice shape. No base embossing. Heartbreaker there, folks. That would have been a nice bottle. W.H. Jones and Company. Hanover and Blackstone Streets, Boston, Massachusetts. Would have been a beauty. Okay, I see the base to one sticking out down here, folks. Right at the tip of my boot there, right there. A stinking Listerine. Oh, oh man, oh man. Two hours later. Well, I've been down here digging for a couple hours, folks, and any of the good stuff and broke so far. <laughs> I got a bottle sticking out of the back wall here. Way in the back here. Looks like it might be a perfume or something. Oh, of course. Oh, corners busted out of it. Always something. Oh, that would have been a nice little perfume, too. Well, I possibly. Have a few bottles on the back wall there. Got a little picker. Let's go in and uh, see you look pecking them out. Ah, oh. see them right there. Broke. To forgive my camera work here. 
Well, that one was broke, and the other one was broke. Uh, unreal. What's this up here? Looks like an ink. Hasn't got any color to it though, that's the question. Oh, it's friggin' it's full. Oh. Oh, let me get out of here. Oh, it's full. Black ink by the looks of it. Huh. Well, that's different. I think I got a bottle on the back wall here again, folks. I can't reach it with the peck. I'm going to have to use this rake. It's right there. Looks like a... If I had to guess, it's going to be an olive jar. <laughs> be the only thing that's complete in here. Not broke. Of course. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, oh yeah. How do you like looking at that dirt? <laughs> oh, it's a Heinz. Look at that. Oh, that's different. I don't think I've ever dug one. But with Heinz, it's got the number 362. I have to look that up, see what it is. Huh. Yeah. All right, that's different. Okay, viewers, I'm way in the back there. It's a good seven feet, anyways. So what I'm going to do now is knock this down. And then we'll see if anything comes out from here in this falls. Okay, that's hard as a rock there. We won't knock that down. Alright, anything come out? Hey, that's a big piece of rock. I don't see anything, but definitely opened it up. Recite them forward from the <clears throat> from the letter H as in Henry. Stop at the letter R as in Robert. H I B C D E F Q H I J K L M N O P Q R S Q R. <laughs> okay. Walk straight to the front of the police car. Okay. Oh, yep. Two driver. No man's land. Oh, <laughs> okay, they're going then. <laughs> we got a dead.